Yeah, it's really small, but it's how you use it, girl. That is, that is, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's effective, it's small, you know but e use it's tools. small, but effective. Hi, my loves, it's Kazi and Jason, and this is How to Food Nation. Today is all about some good old sweet bread using CGA's Marigold Reduced Fat Margarine. So let's get baking. We sweet in this nation too bad, you know. So, so sweet. These are like our favorite thing to do here. And of course, I mean, we're getting more and more into it. People have been yes. asking for all these favorites and mm -hmm. I've been seeing you doing all the, the, the hot cross buns, mm -hmm. I see it, pone, mm -hmm. sugar cake. So we had to hit them with a good old fashioned granny classic. Sweet bread. Sweet bread. I'm glad you say it's a, a granny mm -hmm. classic and that's what it is. I mean, in any baking parlor or bakery throughout Trinidad and the Caribbean. Must get it. Sweet bread. I think it's like the number Must one dessert. It. Mm -hmm. so it's want... literally a sweet bread. So let's make it. The breads of the sweets. <laughs> let's go. How do we start? Because we're we'll doing this. Flour inside of your bowl. Mm -hmm. Ordinary uh, white flour. Right. And um, we need to spice it up. So in the meantime. Spice it up or spi sweeten it up? Spice it up. Okay. Because what I'm talking about here mm -hmm. is that we have ground cinnamon. Mm -hmm. We also have ground lychee, also known as cardamom. Yes. And we have some nutmeg, mm -hmm. fresh nutmeg. So you want to put in those two spices for me sure. in the meantime while I give you a little grater on me. You like my grater? Yeah, baby grater. Listen, listen, it's not about... It's so cute. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, it's really small, but it's how you use it, girl. That is, that is, it's, <laughs> so yeah, it's effective, it's small, you but it, it's it small, but effective. Look at that, look at that. Okay. So you want to grate that, and obviously when using nutmeg, ladies and gents, it's yeah. best when you grate it fresh. Mm -hmm. Right? So we have that nutmeg going on inside there. And a little goes a long, long way. Exactly. You don't want to put too much nutmeg, it dominates. Yeah. Baking powder goes in. Okie doke. Obviously, we need a little bit of a poof. Not too much. A little, a little. Uh. It's not a sandwich loaf we're making, but we still need some texture Okey to doke. ensure that it's a bit soft. Oh. Sugar goes inside. Sugar. White sugar. Now, white do sugar. do I need to use white? You can mix it. I'm a brown girl, you know. Mm. I like brown sugar. I know. I know you like brown sugar. <laughs> Yes, yeah. Listen, listen, listen. I know when, when you're watching these, these kind of comments Kelly is making. Me? <laughs> Mix that up together nicely sure. inside there. So you're getting everything evenly dispersed. And that's mm -hmm. important in any cake batter, bread batter. Whether you're doing salt or sugar batters. You yep. want to ensure that the savory ingredients are... Into, Mixed in well. And the sweet ingredients are... In this mm -hmm. case, it's sweet bread. Mix that inside there. Right. No. We need some good old fashioned grated coconut. It is not, it is not, it is not sweet bread without coconut. You need this. Yes. Right? So, this was grated on the box grater. As you can tell, mm -hmm. it's fresh stuff. No imitation, no fake stuff going inside there. A little bit of husk. I like right. a little bit of husk on it because actually it, it adds a little bit of texture. Uh, yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. We have Mari. How do you pronounce this? Maraschino. So, the proper pronunciation in Italy is actually maraschino. Yeah. Yeah. But we tend to say maraschino. But in Trinidad, no. <laughs> so, we have it just chopped up into little pieces. And this is where we start to illuminate the batter with a lot of color. And, Chef, I'm noticing, as we always do when we're baking, we're doing dry stuff yes, before the wax. So everything just mixes evenly into it. Mm -hmm, we also mm -hmm. have mixed peel inside there. And that is very popular in sweetbread, as you know, because yes. of the colors, mm -hmm. right? So we have that inside there. We're going A all A lot thin. of character in this bread, boy. You're still adding things? What are these? <laughs> and you had one runaway here. <laughs> Mix them in. So we have some raisins inside there. You could use sultanas. It's not a mm -hmm. problem. Um, and the idea is for you to get everything dispersed. We are going in with some sliced almonds. Yum. I like a little bit of texture inside there. It's very important. This is a jam-packed bread. Jam packed. Good stuff, right? Yeah. And the beauty about when people ask, you know, what desserts we have here in Trinidad and Tobago, we've covered extensive amounts. Yes. But sweet bread, I mean, I think about Grenada, Barbados, St. Lucia. All the sweet up, islands. All the islands outside there. Let mm -hmm. us know how you make your sweet bread, if it's yes. any different to us. For of sure. course, subscribe to our channel and comment, share the video because this mm -hmm. is a great Trinidadian recipe that we're doing here. Can you hand me that fork, please? Sure. Did you hear my English accent? <laughs> I just went from Caribbean to English accent. One egg, mm -hmm. so I want to whisk that inside here. And then you just want to put that inside there. Right. One second. We go in with our... a little more liquid to go in here. Going in with our milk. Don't mix it. Just regular milk. Regular milk. Right. You could actually add coconut milk at this point in time to add mm -hmm. more of the coconut profiles. 
and then we have that beautiful marigold from CGA, mm -hmm. the marigold mandarin. And so we just mandarin. melted this a little bit. Melted it. So I like everything to more or less coming at the same texture. Okay. So you have your milk, your egg. This is where we go in with the wet ingredients. Mm -hmm. So we go inside there. And, and margarine is perfect for baking. You want us to clean that out? Absolutely. Excellent for peach. Absolutely. I actually, when I'm doing a lot of baking at home, whether it be cakes or pastries, there you go. it is so economical for me to be, and I, I do it on a, a large scale basis. And yeah. the, the marigold margarine works ex really, really well for me. Excellent in that manner. So it is something that I definitely stand by and I work with, especially with people at home, housewives, or people who don't want to experiment with recipes. I think it's simply brilliant. All right, so All right. I think we are well mixed yes, in. Yes, but that's it then. No, oh, we have one more ingredient. Well, Come I on. want to know. We All need right. the flavoring. We have a little bit of vanilla essence. You could yes. probably put an almond essence inside it. I was mm. about to say almond essence would be nice too. Yeah, because I mean, I like, that's actually my favorite essence. There's mixed essence also, mm -hmm. champagne. But typically, um, it tends to be the uh, vanilla essence. Vanilla. I'm trying yeah. to keep it a little traditional here, right? Now, if there are any other essences you know about, other flavorings, rose water, let us know. Comment <laughs> below. Those are good stuff, you know. Look at all this goodness. Beautiful stuff, right? Excellent. And you see all the cherries stand out inside mm -hmm. there. So Lots what we, of color. So actually, I took a little bit of the marble margarine right. early on and I rubbed it inside to lubricate right. it and then I dusted it with a little bit of flour. Mm -hmm. So you do the same thing also when baking a cake, more or less, when you yeah. think about it, all right? So this is a preventable batter. You want to go inside there and sure. pour it in. Can you me? hold this for me? Sure, please. no problem. Thank you very much, sir. And let that come out just like that. And remember, this does have baking powder inside of it, so it will actually rise mm -hmm. a little bit, but you're still gonna get that nice crumble end result when it bakes. Don't think like you don't have too much inside there, it will puff up a little bit. Now that we have that out there, take that to the side. Let me take sure. that out from you, ma'am. Sure. You see some fruits to the side of you there. We got a mix going on in here. Well, obviously, we do have the fruits inside already. Mm -hmm. I always like to put some on top so it starts studs it. So you know, hey, that looks like sweet bread. When you want to yeah. showcase of a bakery, you always see to the... give it the razzle dazzle for the top. It's the razzle, it's the dazzle. Listen, I cannot put it any other way. Yeah. The razzle dazzle. So you could just probably sprinkle it on like that. Boom. Beautiful. Good stuff. You know what I mean? <laughs> Middle All right, so you use the fork now and you just you come around like that a little bit and you just kind of spruce it out a little bit right. so it starts to look like, you know, you could, maybe you could put some on the side here, right? <laughs> oh, like, you're like our auditor, girl. Well, I'm just saying. You're looking nice, but you're you looking good. You taught me to keep it even. So we're keeping it even. We're keeping it even. Talking about even, cooking it for about an even 50 to 60 minutes in the okay. oven, 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Check mm -hmm. on it. Again, 50 to 60 minutes. Yeah. And when you stick the knife into it and it comes out clean, mm -hmm. then you know you're good. So. Time. Time. Let's do this mm -hmm. quicker. So you know the family coming over. So that whole Christmas vibe, you have to be very careful. And we already smell it up the whole house already. It smells, it smells. And the neighbors outside already peeking through the window. Uh, yeah, they're gonna try to come for some of this bread and I'm not tapping. So we're, it we're rationing it, right? Two slices for you. Two well, slices no, for the no, neighbor no, and them. No, no, no. The well, rest for us. One slice for you, one slice for me. Watch now, we have to watch you wait until you. <laughs> This is really tend to take place for this the Christmas is some season. Good. This but is some good bread. Some good, good bread. bread. Nice mm -hmm. bread. So you've seen all the maraschino cherries inside there, the mm -hmm. nuts, the mm -hmm. mixed peel, the raisins, everything. The, the, the fresh coconut. Yes, of course. At least I'm getting the essence of it in the atmosphere, the cinnamon, mm -hmm. the nutmeg, the, the cardamom inside there and so forth. So I want us to dig in, break it, let us try. Well, I want this from, from the back piece here. Look at that. That is bread. Nice and warm, Stella. Mm -hmm. Mmm. Tell me. Mm -hmm. Tell me, Cassie. This is like Christmas morning breakfast. Speaking mm -hmm. about that, mm -hmm. what does one eat sweet bread with? Or is it just by its own? Okay. I personally like sweet bread and butter or sweet bread and cheese. I mean, I know it sounds weird, but something about the salty from the cheese oh, yeah. and the sweet of the bread. So good. So good. Yeah. Try it. Well, this, is, this is really nice. I mean, mm -hmm. you could see obviously all the nice fruit inside of it. It has a slight little crumble to it, which is good. Mm -hmm. Sweet that. And it, what really causes that crumble is the fresh coconut that goes into it. Oh, okay. Maraschino cherry, mixed peel, everything. It's really, it's really fruity. I like that the bread has so much character. There's so much going on in there. It's a really nice bite. What I did too is as soon as it came out of the oven, I just sprinkled a bit of granite and sugar. Right? Oh, so that's what's going on. Are you, a, are you a fan of that? I mean, I personally don't need it, 
but it's a nice treat. I always see it inside of the display cases in the bakery. Yeah, old school sweet bread, you gotta have it on top. It's already sweet already, so it's up to your choice if you want to put additional yes. sugar on top. Other than that, it's delicious as is. Kessie mentioned some butter, some cheese on top. Let us know if there's any other way. That you enjoy your sweet bread. Please make it around the Christmas time. Mm -hmm, for sure. Christmas or month. any time really. Pretty much it is a staple throughout the Caribbean as mentioned in Trinidad and Tobago. So a slice, probably about four or five dollars a slice. Yes. And you're good to go. Mm -hmm. But now we have the recipe. Now you have the recipe. You could be like your granny making sweet bread. Shout out to all the great grannies out there who make sweet bread for everybody in the household. And I see Chef is finishing his piece, so I will too. Until next time, guys. Bye bye. Okay.